While Canada exports farm equipment around the world, farm equipment from around the world is also brought into Canada. Here at Canada's Farm Progress Show in Regina, one of the innovations on display is an Austrian-built combine header, the Baizo Ultralight 800. Baizo is an Austrian company, so that's where they manufacture everything, and then I bring them over here and sell the headers over here in Canada. So tell me about uh, this particular header, and here, here we've got the, uh, the drive side open. Right? Yeah, that's the right side of the drive. It's a Biso Ultralight 800. Uh, this one here is 35 feet. It's, uh, it's an all-purpose header for cereals and canola. Uh, for canola, we move the head up, cut about about 800 millimeters. And then those here are the side cutters, the side knives. There's two knives in here. And then you just fold them up and then you cut your canola with it. It has a stainless steel, it's a stainless steel and aluminum component auger to give it strength and lighten it on the same side. Uh, this one here weighs in at about 8,000 pounds. So that must be uh, a, a quite an innovation to be able to move the cutting bar out. Uh, that must save uh, a lot of shattering loss on the canola, I presume. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you want to have the knife out underneath the reel. As soon as the reel hits the plant, the plant is shelling, and then you have the knife underneath, so it will catch the seed, and then the stalk is swiping in the seed. So it's got the, the shears on the end, it's got a, a, a cutting bar that can be extended, what other adjustments does it come with? Uh, it can adjust, you can adjust the real time, the pitch from the cap, from inside the cap. So you just push a button and the pitch of the reel, if you have some flat crop, if you want to have the reels more aggressive, you just push a button, the reels, the reels get more aggressive. Uh, the knife, the, the, the reel drive is inside of the tube here, it's right here. Uh, the next thing, what you can adjust is your pitch of your feeder house. There's a, there are hydraulic cylinders in the back and you just push it from the cab again. And if you have some large crop, if you want to tilt the header forward, then you can do that too. And same backwards again. So if you make this specifically for makes and models of combines. It doesn't come with adapters. You make it for the combine that's going on? Yeah, that's right. If it goes, you order it for, a, let's say, a John Deere combine, that's where it goes on. It's specially ordered for a John Deere Case and New Holland are the same hookup, so you can inter-switch it between the two, and it works very well, yeah. So it's manufactured in Europe and, and shipped over, is it shipped in, uh, assembled? Yeah, no, it's pretty much shipped, as I have to do the final assembly, but it comes in a 40-foot C container and just pull it out and put it together and it's ready to go. What about flexible cutting bar for, for low, low crops and yeah. small pulse crops, is uh, that coming? That's coming next year, yeah. It will be up to 40 feet in flex next year. So uh, a header like this one, uh, 35 feet, uh, what, uh, what kind of price tag are we looking at? This one here, the way it sits right now, is about 95,000. I imagine that would put it in the range of the other top headers out there? Yeah, it should be right in there, yeah. yeah. So are you getting pretty good interest, or how has how uptake been? Yeah, no, it's been good. It's, uh, straight cutting canola is coming more and more popular because of canola, the, the breeding goes towards uh, shader resistant stuff, and it works very well, yeah.